Yo, what's going on, guys? We are back. It's the thickest these boys with another reaction video. I am rapper Nate Rose. And I am filmmaker David Elijah Pearsall. And uh, today we got another Quedeca record. Now, this is a comment from S.R. Safford. It says, a Quedeca song that all of his fans love is Sisyphus. It was the first song he released that showed off his new style. He was heading towards that everyone agreed was extremely well executed. Would love to see your guys' reaction to it. So... Sisyphus. I would love to say uh, thank you guys for the comments. Thank you for all the recommendations because we love checking this stuff out. You know who Sisyphus is? I don't. He is. It's a. It's like a legend, but basically he is just destined to push a rock up a hill over and over. And it's it's, it's like philosophical. Uh, well, I never heard of this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not tapped into that though. No, it's all good. philosophical. We'll, listen, we'll 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 dig into okay. this, but I'm interested because that he. Like, he knows this, so I'm interested to, to see what he does conceptually yeah, with that. let's run it. So, without further ado, let's mask up like we finna Been a rob some. some. The color palette's consistent as ever with, with Quadega, bro. Okay. Cinematic opening shot. Ooh. I know that man's just cold. Damn, this is fire. Ooh. Wait, is this my favorite Kodeka track? Woo. Hey, this is, this is, this seems Ooh. next level, bro. bro and, and this came uh, out before some of these records that we've reacted to. This sounds amazing. Yeah, he's just leaning into the the beauty. I mean, you have the, all of these different vocal layers swelling up. Uh, it's, it's all over the sonic space. You know, there's stuff panned to the left, panned to the right. There's verb kind of filling it. And then when it drops, you have this, like, really crunchy, distorted, yeah. compressed uh, bass that's coming in and these these effects. Dude, this it's like everything you want out of the ear candy part, but then with all of the maintaining all the same emotion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What I, Yeah, I, I love that. And what I, what I, one thing that... I, I've come to understand about Quedeca is this, his imagery does, there's a certain, you know, you don't know how to describe it. You just know when someone has it mm -hmm. and he does this thing. I think Quedeca definitely has it where he has this thing where he can create emotion by simplistic visuals. Right. And I think, I don't know what it is. It's in the white shots. It's in his, the way he carries himself, his demeanor, but he does it. Joji does it. People, we've seen it before. Sanfa. It's like example, a theme of, it. of, of, solitude as well like he's almost always shots. it's yeah. wide shots you know you're showing this landscape and it's almost always just him he yeah you know it's so it's, like it's, he's, it, mm. it plays into the fact that he's you know what i'm saying de going through things dealing with things it fits with the emotion of and it there's a nature aspect too there that's yeah. a, that's another conversation but some rock in with there. that i rock with that mm. little synth yeah it's fire been so melodramatic with Ooh, you on this beautiful. climb Can't wait to feel shitty and tell you about it another time All of the blister and men's in the callus Even our bickering getting nostalgic All of those little things melt in the mountains in my mind Okay, hold on, real quick Let's let's talk about the fit here So this, this is something that we've been talking about recently So in terms of what makes a superstar artist You have all of these different aspects That kind of build the brand and the brand image right. And, you know, there, so there's the cinematography, you've got the music itself, you've got the concepts, what he's talking about. But one, one underrated thing, if you look at any artist who's doing something at a high level, there's attention to detail and weirdness on the fits. Mm -hmm. And so he's got, he's got this coat on, but the jacket under it has these like, you know, distressed white lines. And then he has yeah, purple gloves on, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's got a white turtleneck under it. It's like, if you just saw somebody dressed like this out in public, you would kind of be like, this is... My man's kind of look weird yeah, yeah yeah he looks a little different but but this is it's obvious you, you choose what you want to wear for your music video like, yeah of course like he didn't just fall into right. those clothes so um i'm just i'm seeing i'm seeing the fact that he gets it like he understands all the elements Every of the, level of the brand and image fire, yeah. yeah so this is sick and i love how it also in the music i love how it went from this <clears throat> this like really beautiful thing it built up and then it, it it sucked all the energy out and now it's more like this kind of rap flow mm -hmm. less less effects on the vocals right, and stuff right. it's kind of in this pocket so i think it's super dope 
I just can't buy, saw you say bye, wanna stay by your side What the fuck do you say when you know life cannot be the same But you try and try If those footsteps remain after time went by Something expiring, I guess them butterflies in my stomach How the fuck I'm retiring uh. Sam back on the climb like Sisyphus yeah. up the mountain. Yeah, yeah. And he's at a mountain. Ooh. Okay, hey, you saw that. You he saw that. He's, yes. he's pushing the rock, dude. Yo, Let's real go. quick, real quick. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I want to say that whoever's the timing on the edits are really nice. Obviously, they're going in a lot of the places you obviously see like it's just cutting to the music. But even with just like I've noticed, and I, I would love to see if the editor did something like this, but I noticed that sometimes you will take a frame and you'll cut it either two or f two or three frames before or after it feels like it should happen because it, or when the beat happens, because it feels like it should happen. And yeah. I, I feel like I can definitely see that in here, especially because they're adding zooms, which eat with each, some of the shots that are static and wide and some are not, it's just a really well paced edit so far. I love that. That's awesome. I'm, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> You got a mountain yeah. of your own. Wish it wouldn't feel so broken to me. Try to take the edge off, but that only brought it closer to me. Uh, and I just want to live in a motherfucking log cabin in a place where you never have to call back, never have to log back in. I've been back log back. Black fog, I'm back in. Too many times it wasn't all madness. I just can't make it though. I've been insisting it's more looking at the path of a tall mountain. Mm. And I keep getting stuck in these potholes. Maybe I should just set the rock right road. I've been so close yep. to the peak, I know, but I'm trying to stay away from the drop though. So I don't. They only okay. Me. Lyrically, did an entire rock mountain theme. Sisyphus. I love that the the concept is weaved through every area of this as well. He's in a mountain landscape. He's talking about the fact that that he knows that this other girl has um a mountain of her own to climb mm -hmm. and work work towards. And you know, but he's focused on his, and he is he's trying to reach his peak. You know, so he has all this imagery and stuff, but it's is represented in the visual, in the in the soundscape. Like I I just what I don't conceptual know. piece. Yeah. Love this, that. This is really dope. Like I love when, especially because we, we brought this up before. I'm just going to say it again, especially because he was a YouTuber. You know what I'm That's saying? That's my favorite thing about him, actually, is yeah. the fact that he he did that. He, It's obviously obvious. If you, you look at this and you don't like the music, you can't deny the fact that he has some sort of genius inside of him. Right. That he can create a successful YouTube channel. Yep. Creating success is very difficult. Yeah. And then moving on in and creating a, a successful music career there's something to be said about that. And yeah. that's why it's like, okay, well, he has something inside of him, just like Jake and Logan Paul have something inside of him. You might not like him, but there's something there yeah, they, that they, is they have, Yeah, exactly. Right. They have that that talent across multiple disciplines. Right. So, yeah, this is sick, man. Um, Yo, you know, we're not Quideca, but I rap, you do videos. Maybe we should show them a little something we're working on. Let's do it. Let's get it. Success casts a contrasting light upon the struggles of those who have not been as fortunate. They say money corrupt everything. I wonder if it's true. So I had to get a bunch of it to see what it could. It records, started hustling way back when I wasn't. From my passion early on, but now my peers was privy. I had an ego type of ego, make you win by busting through. Until that ego had me breaking ties with ones I knew. I killed that ego and got money hand in hand. It's something new. That's that EQ that I learned while using EQ as a tool. So why? The fuck am I tripping? I used to feel the littest that some shit was popping for me. Now I'm just feeling convicted. I got friends I grew up with that ain't here because addiction. I got friends that got kids and they still popping prescriptions. I got friends, I got, I got friends that had dreams that ain't turned out like they predicted. I got friends that turned hateful and vindictive. I got friends that had trauma as a kid but never fixed it. Now I'm hopping in that Tesla, but this ain't no Honda Civic. Level up. Level up, level up, level up, level up. <clears throat> All right, dude, let's finish the thing out. I love, I love that too, where he, where he puts the little delay. I do that a lot of times in my music, what? where um, back on a climb now, dun 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 dun, dun and then dun 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 on a dun. 
Mm. Like so he yeah, yeah, yeah he leaves that space and then and then hits you with it. It c- keeps you guessing. I like that. Yes, dude. I love that shot. That was like Pan's Labyrinth. Here's the bridge. Shots of feet, imprint, type. Strings, piano. With this triumphant, the, the music like is triumphant, to the like he made yeah. it to the peak, bro. Yeah. Ooh, the percussion is crazy. It's also a little dissonant. Right. Ooh, that good. That's a great cut. Yeah, he's going stupid. This is so it's so artistic, bro. Let's go, Quedeca. It reveals the mountain, and and now he's look now he fitting with the theme. Uh, if you if you read more about Sisyphus, Sisyphus, he's now back at the bottom of the mountain. He has to do it again. Mm. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Yo. Oh, oh, let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's finish it out. From me to you. Love it. Let's go, dude. <clears throat> let's go. One of my... Uh, what I would... This video was great. The song is my favorite song from Quadeca so far. Uh, it's beautiful. It's melodic. It's victorious. And I don't know, it's comforting in a way. It's a long song, too. It's conceptual. It, it goes places. Mm-hmm. I, I like songs that go places, like where the arrangement and the structure and the instrumentation doesn't just loop. You know, every yeah. hook doesn't sound the same. It's like you're introducing new things, new production elements you know you have this whole part where it devolves then you mm-hmm. have this part where it kind of gets really angry you know right. what i'm saying and now he's back down at the bottom of the mountain it's like he he achieved something and then you right know, so without the my question is without the understanding of sis i mean he describes it right um does does it still feel victorious and inspirational and the answer is yes because yeah. i don't i didn't know about it you described it very briefly mm-hmm. um here's what i would like to see because I'm a fan, from a fan perspective, what I would like to see, and I don't think he doesn't have the type of resources that Joji has, but Joji's, vi- like, I think a lo- there's a there's an argument to be said that in the middle of this video, we've seen a lot of the same imagery, and then in the beginning and the end had a lot of different imagery. But in yeah, the middle yeah. kind of got, in my opinion, maybe a little repetitive. What I would like to see, and I think it might be due to a budget or whatever, I don't know, there's so many limitations of people making art, and I understand right. d- directly what that is like. So it's not, a, it's not, it's not much of a, uh, criticism that is like a hope that I wish I just hope to see him get the budget he deserves because Facts. if he can get to the point where he can make you know hey, two hundred thousand dollar video videos yeah. I know it's gonna be it's gonna, it's gonna be insane mm-hmm. yo uh, let me just say this Quedeca get this man to color grade your videos I, I, mean, I think he could take it to the next level I like no joke to, yeah. no joke I think the colors are fine in this but I think you know I think that you could pull more out of the image yo personally. if he sees this Quedeca yeah, I would love to do that, bro. Let me know what's up. All right, gang. Well, <laughs> hey, big fans of Quedeca, thank you guys for pointing us in this direction. I think it's probably my favorite so far as well. So what should we check out next? You know, we we did we did Guess Who. What's the other one we did? Dust Cutter. Dust, Dust Cutter. cutter yeah. Dust Cutter. So what other songs should we do? Let us know in the comments. We'll feature one of your comments, you know, um, also, and, and jump into the next one. Also, if you're new to the channel, this might be your first video, or even if you're not, we also do a podcast. It's called uh, Thick as Thieves, where we discuss lots of cool things. Sometimes we break down albums and break down movies, but we also play lots of fun games. And we got guests and stuff that come on, you know what I mean? So different artists, um, comedians, things like that. Right. So maybe we'll have to get Quidek on the pod. One day. So Grace us. Let's go, man. <laughs> 
All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Yeah, baby, need top five when I'm done going mental. Yeah, I'm locked in. You can peep my condition in the lab all winter. All summer. Yeah, I went dumb.